This is the second video in the series where I cover all of the fish in my aquariums. And this is my lagoon tank. In the first video I covered all the fish that uh, exist in my uh, newly created SPS dominated aquarium. And this is a four year old lagoon tank, which is kind of the exact opposite of everything that the other aquarium uh, is all about. So everything is softies and LPS, so everything is moving. I turned off the water flow right now, so that's why things are still. Otherwise, all of this is moving quite nicely. Uh, but I think we're gonna focus really on the fish here. So first and foremost, tanks. I got tons of surgeon fish in this aquarium. Um, and you may notice that the selection is similar, but different from my uh, reef aquarium. So I also have the dory, which is right over here. This is a beautiful uh, specimen. It's a little bit bigger in this aquarium. I've had them for a little bit, a little bit longer. And uh, it's a very docile fish that is makes for a great first fish to add to your um, reef tank. Now, um, be aware that it may move your corals around uh, or little frags. This is what they've been known to and they are very skittish. But um, other than that, this is a great addition. Um, I would rate it to be more on the intermediate level though, because um, it's, it's probably not as simple as uh, some of the other fish such as clownfish. Uh, now you've also got your uh, yellow tank. So remember in my reef aquarium, I have a purple tank. Well, in this one, I have a very similar Zebrasoma, uh, but this guy is the same shape, uh, almost the same temperament, but it is uh, all yellow. So a beautiful fish. Uh, used to be that those um, guys were $50 at local stores, but right now they're all close to 300 because uh, they um, stopped importing them from Hawaii, but there's also captive bread. So it's a great fish that um, um, if you can get, please do. It's, it's uh, easy to keep and uh, he is a great herbivore. So he will go after all that pesky algae. Now, again, similar to what I have in my SPS tank, uh, this is the sailfin. Remember, the other one was regular selfie. This is the Desjardins selfie. And look at the coloration on this guy. So he is gorgeous. Um, as long as he wants to stay in camera. Here he is. So uh, a lot lighter, but also very funky uh, pattern here. So lots of orange, um, beautiful face. Um, and definitely one of my uh, absolute favorite fish right here. Now. Speaking of even bigger fish, you've got the Nassau tank. This is the blonde Nassau tank, and I've had him for a very long time. Uh, actually, you may recognize him as the one that I have on a lot of treasure corals uh, little intros. So um, definitely a beautiful fish. And I find that even in this large aquarium, he's starting to grow out of it. So I may at some point move him to a six footer uh, because, uh, but I'm gonna miss him dearly. Um, definitely a good fish to have and both sailfin and naso uh, are known to go after bubble algae. So if you have those, um, these are the ones to, to keep. And um, then we have um, my favorite fish, the uh, powder blue uh, tank and you remember, I try to keep it in every single one of my aquariums. Um, just there's something about that coloration and personality that really speaks with me. This guy has been with me for quite some time. If you go back a couple of uh, years back, you remember when I got him when he was barely alive. Um, he was malnourished and uh, thanks to uh, some of the uh, recipes of food that uh, were taught to me by uh, my friend Felix. Uh, I think I've been able to nurture him back to life. So thanks to Felix and thanks to um, uh, everybody who suggests, makes suggestions so that uh, he is alive. Finally, 
there is the Tamini uh, tang, which uh, we're gonna see right over here. Remember, I had the uh, bristle tooth in my other aquarium, and that was a lot more expensive. Well, uh, Tamini is uh, readily available. It's, it's not expensive, but he uh, does a great job of um, looking after all that algae. We also, so here, here he is. And always, always grazing, always working. Now, what else do we have? We have wrasses. And for wrasses here, I have the Melanurus wrass, which is right here. Beautiful guy. Um, I, I think every reef aquarium needs to have it. Um, definitely not, not a hard one to keep. Um, uh, they have great coloration, great personality. Um, I used to have one in my other aquarium, but unfortunately they, um, as many other wrasses, are known jumpers. So if you don't have a lead, and which as I don't, you might run into this situation. Here is the Royal Grandma, same as what I have in my other aquarium. And this Royal Grandma has been with me for probably five years, maybe more. So it's actually huge and uh, beautiful um, specimen, beautiful addition to my tank. I've also got a Azurus damselfish right here. I find that some damsels, for example, can be quite mean, but this little guy, so the one that has yellow bottom and uh, blue top, they are quite peaceful. I've never had any issues with them and uh, they are they make for a great addition to i think almost any aquarium let's take a look another look at that tamini always grazing now here i think i have a complete aquarium where i have the anemone and two clowns so these clowns um, have been with me for a very long time uh, the girl is quite large and uh, they are just hosting in this anemone, the anemone keeps splitting, so it's a uh, very, um, it's, it's a great symbiotic relationship to uh, admire and, and to observe. I'm feeling that I have, yes, I also have some antheas in this aquarium. So the antheas are currently hiding. Maybe if I turn the water flow, uh, they're gonna come out. So let's actually see if they will. So the flow is on and the anthe is starting to come out. They're still hiding in the, uh, the rocks there, but you can see one right over here. Um, this is the Lyritail anthes, and I have had some of them with me uh, for easily six, seven years. Here's another one right here. I think it was just, yep. Look at this guy. So um, they are gorgeous. They are easy to keep, in my opinion. So of all the anthes, this, they are the easiest. And I do have one specimen, which is, so you may notice how fat and uh, vibrant was the one that just came out. But this guy here, I got him from another reefer probably six or seven years ago. And he's had it for probably another three or four years. It was in a very rough shape, but still alive and um, just was never able to come back to that uh, girth uh, but other than that it um, seems like a healthy fish so they are a little bit skittish and you probably need at least you know five or six of them to really come about but uh, I only have three or four and again these are the ones that I would not recommend you keep unless you already got your reefing stripes with uh, some of the easier fish. So if I were to uh, comment on this tank, I don't have anything super advanced in this aquarium. So I don't have really complicated fish or the ones that need to be fed a lot. Anthe is excluded. Uh, but again, Lyritail Anthe is in my opinion are quite different. Um, probably Powder Blue is one of the most um, uh, difficult fish to keep as my history shows. And if you are not limited in space, you could probably do a similar combination. I have uh, had many aquariums and I think you may notice there's a certain pattern to the fish that I keep. And uh, the, you know, I think many other reefers have somewhat similar uh, combos. So you've got some 
combination of uh, surgeon fish, some uh, wrasses, some damsels, some clowns. If I were to uh, make any changes, I'd probably want to be going a lot more wrasses and hopefully one day I will. But right now this tank is looking good. I'm always tempted to keep angelfish, but I consider that with um, reefs, it's a lot harder with the coral because they will at some point might, might bite um, the corals. Having said that, maybe one day I'll have a much bigger aquarium and this is where I'm gonna go all in. Meanwhile, I suggest you check out a whole bunch of other aquariums uh, on Instagram and on YouTube that keep them and uh, I think it's, it's pretty awesome. That is my lagoon tank uh, and fish selection. Uh, let me know what you think and uh, whether I should talk about uh, fish in my farm system. It's going to be a lot harder to uh, video them, but I might do that as series three at some point. Thanks for watching.